Hey guys, how is it going? In this video, we are getting started with an API automation boilerplate project that uses Pactum.js and Cucumber created by the Pactum.js team. As prerequisite, you need Node.js and NPM installed on your machine. If you don't have them yet, no worries, you can find the tutorial in the description below. In the README section, we have a sample test case how to run it, and a list with the test steps that we can use out of the box. Of course, it's possible to create new steps by ourselves as well. The project structure is simple, with a features folder that contains .feature files. These files represent our test files. In here, we can see multiple test examples in a Cucumber human readable format. So this is the test suite name, a brief description, and each scenario is a test. Apart from feature files, there is a support folder with a default config file containing a before hook where we can set the default URL of our application. Last but not least, the support folder contains also a steps file where all the steps listed in the readme documentation are defined. In this file, we can also create new custom steps. For demo purpose, we need to clone the project. I imported the project into Visual Studio Code. Let's open up a terminal and run npm install to get the dependencies. Great. For exercise, I will be using the QA Practice website. It provides a Swagger documentation with a list of crude API endpoints that we could use for testing purpose. I would like to create an API automated test for the post endpoint that creates a new employee. I want to assert its response status code is 201. There will be a second test on the get employee by ID endpoint where I want to assert response status code is 200 and the JSON response will be always the same for the employee with ID 1. It looks like the project brings by default similar test scenarios, hence I will slightly update them according to my endpoints and delete the others. First of all, I am going to update the base URL in the config file and the path for each test. This is the path for the get employee by ID. This is the path for post employee. And let's get the base URL.
Great, don't forget to save the files. For the first test, I'm going to remove the assert regarding response header and update the JSON response. Moving on with the second test, I need to update its request body. The ID property is optional, so I will just remove it. Let's try to run these tests. Open up a terminal and type npm run test. Voila! All the tests passed! Regarding this note here, an amazing thing with these Cucumber reports is that you can link your GitHub account to Cucumber reports platform and store all these reports with the test results in cloud in order to easily access and share them with your team. For more details, access this URL to follow the instructions. Personally, I've been using Packing.js with this cloud feature for a while on QA practice application and I can show you how the reports look like. This is a list with all the test executions triggered by the CICD tool. Let's click a specific execution and we can see the test files and the tests. I love how simple the report is and I bet this info can be easily understood even by non-technical people. So, this is it. If you like the video, feel free to share it with others and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and happy testing!